Good morning, all of you. Namaskar. Uh, it's a rare privilege for Timid College of Physical Education to be assigned a prestigious task of organizing three days international webinar on the occasion of 6th International Yoga Day 2020 with a motto, Yoga at Home and Yoga with Family. In this first session, we are honored to have uh, Shri Jasveer Kumar, sir, yoga expert from Vietnam. And for further sessions, we have Mr. Sunil Kumar, sir, yoga expert from Vietnam, Mr. Chanchal Surivanshi, assistant professor, Timid College of Physical Education, Guinea's world record holder, and Mr. Ratan Singh Chauhan, yoga expert from Vietnam. Honorable Chancellor, Tirthankar Mahavir University, Honorable Group Vice Chairman, TMU, are great fitness enthusiasts who always extends their motivation to organize such events, which are in the larger interest of overall development of the students. Honorable Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Raghubir Singh, lays equal emphasis on the academics as well as co-curricular activities for the overall development of staff and students. Once again, I welcome you all and wish all the delegates of this three days international webinar a great learning experience. Now, I request Dr. Snehalata to proceed. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I, Dr. Snehalata, on the behalf of Timid College of Physical Education, Muradabad, take this opportunity to welcome our resource person in this international webinar on the occasion of 6th International Yoga Day 2020. Uh, so please uh, welcome Mr. Jasveer Kumar, founder of Bali Yoga and Dance Hanoi Vietnam who is also a yoga instructor at leading yoga company of Vietnam. He has 15 years international yoga teaching experience, including Vietnam, China, Thailand, Singapore, France, Germany, and Spain. The man of distinct vision, knowledge, and experiences and inspiration to all of us is now going to discuss and present his valuable thoughts on boost your immunity with yoga. So I again welcome sir and sir, please start your informative and interesting session to all of us. Sir, just read sir. Thank you very much, Nehme. Uh, good morning, everybody. Namaste. Welcome to Immunity Booth session with uh, Jasveer Kumar. So in this session, we will focus how we can how we can boost our immunity system with some yoga asanas, some breathing exercise, pranayams. So uh, let's start with the three times own chanting. It will help us to uh, relax our mind and whole body. Then we will do some asanas for boost our immunity system. So, for boosting our immunity system, we have to focus on our thymus gland. We have to reactivate our thymus gland, which are related to the anha chakra with our chest, lungs, and heart. This area of our body part focus on the postures a little bit, which will help us to open this area. And after that, we will also focus on our lymph nodes, which will take the uh, good cells, white cells, which are helpful to fighting with the diseases and making our immunity system stronger. So for the own chanting, you have to join your hands over your chest, straight back, direct to your back, and close your eyes, smiling face, relaxed face, 
relax your body and take a deep inhale when you exhale you have to speak oh take a deep inhale Once more, deep inhale. Oh. Relax, come to normal breathings. Now you have to rub your hands, rub your palms, and place your hands on your eyes and face. And feel your body and mind is relaxed. The energy is going up. Feel the changes in your body. Now, slowly remove your hands, open eyes, and see hands. Down your hands. Now we are starting a little bit body warm up, then we will do the asanas, yoga postures. Okay, start, make the rhythm of your breath with your body movement. So, start, inhale and raise your hands up. Look up, exhale, down your hands and touch your chin with your chest, keeping straight to your back. Inhale, raise your hands up, look up, exhale, down your hands and touch your chin with your chest. Inhale, Raise your hands up, look up, exhale, down, touch your chin with your chest, inhale up again, and hold here for 10 to 30 seconds with normal breath, look up. Here, your arms and sides of your body should be in the same line. Continue hold and exhale. With exhalation, you can go down and touch your chin with your chest and stretch your neck from behind. And hold here for a few seconds. Then come to center, see front side. And with inhale, raise your right arm up, catch your head from the left side and exhale. Stretch your neck from left to right and hold for a few seconds with normal breath. And with inhale, raise your left hand up, left arm up, and exhale, bend right little bit. Stretch this area of your body part. Stretch left upper body. Hold with few seconds. Normal breath. And inhale, center, straight your body and exhale. Down your left elbow on the floor and straight your right arm. Look upright. Hold. For a few seconds here, stretch right upper body 
and inhale, thumb to center, straight body. Exhale, down your right hand, opposite sink. Inhale, raise your left arm up. Catch your head with your left hand and exhale. Stretch right side of your neck. Right to left, stretch it. Hold for a few seconds. Then inhale, right arm up. With exhale, go for left bend. Hold. Then inhale, come to center. Exhale, down your right elbow on the floor and stretch your left arm. Look up left side, stretch left upper body. Hold for two seconds. Then inhale, come to center. And exhale, twist your body right side. Right hand down behind your body and left hand over your right knee. Twist maximum and see back. Hold for a few seconds with normal breath. Then inhale, come to center. Exhale, opposite. Right hand over left knee, left hand down behind. Keeping straight to your back and twist back. Don't go too much back. Keep direct to your back and twist maximum as you can. Hold with normal breath for a few seconds. Then inhale, come to center. Exhale, down your hands and stretch your legs. So all this warm up you can do in the half of the posture, or you can do with the normal sitting asan sukhasana, and then relax your legs. Massage, you can massage your knees a little bit. If your ankles or knees are hurt, you can massage here. Then cross your legs again and inhale, raise your hands up. Exhale, move your hands forward, hips up and joint your feet back, come to the Parvata Asana, Downward Dog Pose. <clears throat> Adamukhasana also called this name. And in this posture, you have to straight. Straight your knees, heels touch on the floor, toes up a little bit, and arms and back in the same line. Keep your head between your arms. Abdomen squeeze in, push in your abdominal stomach and hold here with few deep breathings or normal breathings for a few seconds. Then down your knees. Down your knees. You can sit down and relax. Feel the changes in your body. Relax your breath. Take a deep inhale. Deep exhale. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Now, down your hands forward. Move your toes down. Reach your knees, come to downward dog pose again. If you cannot, you don't have enough flexibility, you can bend your knees a little bit. But keep your arms and back in the same line, keep your head between your arms. Hold for a few seconds. Then move your feet forward, walk forward between your hands and Catch here your ankles. This is Parvas Asana. And in this posture, you have to keep straight your back. Don't round your back like this. 
Keep straight back. Then exhale. Try to touch your abdomen, chest, and forehead with your leg like this. Or you can hold here. Here. Up to your capacity. You hold for a few seconds with the deep breathing or normal breathing. Then from here, straight your arms. Arms and back straight and come up. Stand up. Then exhale. Down your hands, arms. Relax here. Your arms, back and legs. Next, we are doing Tadasana. The whole body stretch pose. You have to open your feet. Seem like your shoulders. If you have good balance, then you can join to your feet. But if you cannot balance, then open your feet, same like your shoulders, and cross your fingers interlock. Cross your fingers interlock, and with inhalation, inhale, raise your arms up and heels up. Here, stretch whole body upward. Your arms, back, and legs. Stretch up and look up your hands. Keep balance. Hold with normal breath for a few seconds. Then exhale. Down your hands. You can repeat this asana for four or five times and you can balance. Hold it for minimum 30 seconds and more as you can. Slowly increase your capacity to hold. Once more, we will do it. Inhale. Raise your hands up and heels up. Stretch up, look up. Whole body stretch up. Balance with normal breath or deep breath as you feel comfortable. Then exhale. Down your hands, relax your legs, arms, and back. Relax. You can relax in this pose, or you can join your palms, or just loose your hands. Close your eyes and feel the changes in your body. And ready for the next asana. Rich asana, three posture. This asana is also for the balance of your mind to improve. If your mind is balanced, your mind is peaceful, then your respiratory system will be more stronger. More stronger respiratory system will boost your immunity system. So if your brown, your breath is stronger, then your immunity will be boost automatically. So in the pre posture, you have to bend your right knee. The beginners can hold it here. If your balance is good and you have good flexibility, you can raise it over your left thigh, near your root chakra, and near your root, place your heel on left thigh and keep your right knee outside straight. Don't do like this. If you have lack of flexibility, it's okay. But try to reach it out straight and then inhale raise your hands up join your palms over your head and stretch your arms don't bend your arms keep stretch your arms and hold here for few seconds with normal breath yes keep strong your left leg and with exhale, slowly down your arms and down your right leg. Relax your left leg. Then opposite side, bend your left knee, place your left foot over your right thigh near your root. And if you have lack of flexibility, you can down, down, or beginners can do here, up to your level. You can keep balance here, then inhale, raise your hands up, 
Stretch your arms back and right leg be strong. Keep balance. Hold for a few seconds with the normal breath or deep breath as you feel comfortable. If you cannot balance, focus on the one point on the floor. Then maybe your balance will be better. If you look around, then you can fall down. So try to keep focus on one point on down or front side on the ball. Then exhale down your hands and stretch your left leg down. Relax your legs. Then relax your body and mind. You can take deep inhale, exhale here. Relax whole body and mind. Then we are moving to lying down on abdomen. We are doing bhujang asana. Lying down on the abdomen. Keep distance between your feet a little bit, same like your shoulders, and keep your hands beside your chest. Keep your hands beside your chest. And with inhale, raise your head up slowly. Head up. Open your chest, lungs and heart. Open your upper back and look up. Don't do like this. Just keep down your shoulders. If you have lack of flexibility, you can bend your elbows near your side of body. Bend your elbows and look up. If you cannot do, then you can do the baby cobra like this. Elbows keep on the mat and slowly inhale and head up. But if you are comfortable, then you do it like this. Look up and hold. So this posture also helps you open your uh, lungs, chest and heart where our thymus gland is located. So thymus gland is the source of boosting immunity system. Then slowly exhale. Down. You can stretch your arms here, down your chin on the mat. And relax your body. Feel the changes in your body. Relax. And ready for the next asana. Next asana is Viman asana, the airplane posture. In this, you have to open your arms, same like, same to your shoulders line, and keep stretch your legs. With inhale, raise your arms, head and legs up. And hold with normal breath, more higher as you can up. Try your maximum capacity, normal breath or deep breath for a few seconds, hold it here, then slowly exhale and down. Relax your body. Feel the changes in your body. You can repeat this asana also four to five times, but here we will do only two times. Then once more, inhale, up again. Hold with normal breath. Expand your chest, lungs and heart. Look upside. Try to reactivate your thymus gland. And exhale. Slowly down. Relax your body. Relax your mind. Next. Next asana is Dhanur asana. 
So the next asana will help us to uh, increase the white cells uh, in our thymus gland. Then also it will also help us to improve our lymph node working. So lymph nodes also uh, help us to boost immunity system or uh, they are helping to carry carry the white cells to our whole body when our thymus gland is working well then the cells the good cells the healthy cells which protect us from the diseases they have to carry in our whole body with the help of our lymph nodes. So the Dhanurasana will working on both. It will also help us to immune uh, the thymus gland. It will also help to boost the thymus gland and also help to improve lymph nodes working. So for Dhanurasana, you have to bend your both knees Catch your both feet with your both hands and slowly with inhale, raise, lift up your chest and feet. Don't open your feet too much. Just keep joined near, both feet nearly and stretch up more higher as you can. Hold with normal breath. And slowly exhale, down, relax. This posture you can also hold for 30 seconds or more, according to your capacity. Minimum 30 seconds you have to hold this posture. And after the, all the backhand postures like Dhanurasana, Bhujangasana, you can lie down on abdomen or sit. In the Sukta Vajra Asana, Contra pose for the back bend, and here your back will be feel relaxed. Relax your back here. Take a deep breath and exhale. Okay, ready for the next asana? Next, we are doing Ustra Asana. Ustra Asana, for Ustra Asana, you have to stand on your knees and feet distance should be same like your shoulders as well your knees, same. Same distance in your knees and shoulders and in your feet. So the beginners can hold your waist from back side, catch your back, lower back and move your shoulders behind open your upper back chest lungs and heart like this rotate your shoulders back and push your pelvic forward and move your head back this is for the beginners and a little higher level you can down your toes raise your heels up and place your hands over your heels and push your pelvic forward, move your head back. And if you have more flexibility, then you can out your toes, down your heels, and place your hands over your heels and exhale, move your head back. Relax your hips and try to bend your back more. Hold with the normal breath or deep breath as you feel comfortable. Then inhale. You can catch your back and stand on your knees. So as you are we are watching in this posture also our upper body is opening our lungs capacity is increasing because we are expanding our lungs heart and chest 
So this boosts our immunity system because the respiratory system are, is also boosting with our lungs. So this also, this asana also is very helpful to boost our immunity. After this contra pose, swing, you can sit in the Tukvadarasana. Straight your arms forward. Keep distance between your knees a little bit and down your forehead on the floor, on the mat. Relax your back here and feel the changes in your body. So, the next asana is Setuban Asana. For the Setuban Asana, you have to lie down on your back. You have to lie down on your back, bend your knees, bend your knees and place your heels near your hips. Don't do it very far. Keep your heels near your hips. Or you can catch your ankles or place your hands on the mat if you cannot reach. Keep head down. And if you cannot reach your ankles, place here or cross interlock your fingers under your back. So I'm doing here with the ankles. Catch your ankles and with inhale, lift up your hips and back more higher as you can try to touch your chest with your chin then deep inhale exhale abdomen go in when you exhale or normal breath as you feel comfortable Hold for few seconds. If you cannot do like this, you can support your back with your hands like this. Or just hold here. Then slowly exhale down. You can also repeat this asana for four or five times according to your capacity. Then for relaxing our back, we can do here Pavan Mukta Asana. For this, you have to inhale, raise your knees up, cross your fingers, interlock, catch your knees. Then, exhale. Squeeze in your abdomen. Squeeze in abdomen and touch your forehead with your knees. Touch forehead with knees and feel relax your lower back. Feel relax your lower back. If you have neck pain or cervical, you just do it like this. Don't raise your head up. Keep your head down and feel relax your back. Or do this if you are normal. Hold with normal breath for a few seconds. Then down your head. You can rotate your knees here for relaxing your back. One, two, and three. Then reverse. Three, two, and one. Then relax. You can turn left or right. Then sit down. Don't sit direct like this if you have that pain or you will have back pain if you direct sit down after this posture. You can twist left or right, then sit in the normal posture. So, beside these asanas, you can do also some breathing exercise. Now, we don't have enough time to practice all the pranayama breathing exercise, but I am telling you just you can do Anulom Vilom Pranayam, Kapal Bhati Vastrika or Brahmani Pranayam to boost your immunity system because the, the mainly, mainly our breathing, breath, inhale is our life. So if the inhale is good, 
then immunity system will be boosted automatically. So for the Anulom Vilom Pranayam, place your left hand over your left knee, relax your body, straight your back, Sukh Asana, Half Lotus, Half Padmasana, Ardha Padmasana, or normal posture Sukh Asana. You can sit in any posture. Then, right hand up, two fingers bend down, ring finger and thumb, use to close your nostril. Then start, inhale from left, exhale from right, inhale from right, exhale from left. So this pranayam you can repeat repetitions up to five minutes. The next pranayam is Kapalbhati pranayam. For Kapalbhati pranayam, you have to focus on your exhale. Inhale will be taken by your lungs automatically. Just focus on your exhale. When you exhale, drop your abdomen, push your abdomen inside like this. Yes, see, sir, you are not audible. Please check your connection. Hello. Yes, sir, your voice is disconnected, sir. Now you are coming, ma'am? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I will take four or five minutes more. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir, please check your connection. You are not audible. So, uh, the Kapalbhati Pranayam, you have to relax your hands, keeping straight to your back, and when you exhale, your abdomen should be go in. Don't do it opposite, don't like this. Just do correct way. When you exhale, your abdomen should be go in. Or for a check, you can place your hand on your abdomen and feel exhale and push your hand in. When you know you are doing the right, then relax your hands and do. You can do 30 strokes in one minute first. Do it slowly, deeply. And when you have good practice on this, you can do it faster. This is later, but starting you have to do slowly, like this. So, the next is Brahmri Pranayam. For Brahmri Pranayam, you have to place your ring finger on your nostril, middle finger on your eyes, and index finger on the forehead and thumbs will be used to close your ears like this point of your ear will be go in and close your ear so all these parts will be closed then take a deep inhale after inhale you have to speak on with close your mouth on from your nose then feel vibrations in your head and breathe. Like this. Deep inhale. So this you can do four or five times or more. If you have enough time, you can practice more. It's very helpful to relax your mind. You can check it. You will do it one or two times, then feel the changes in your mind. Your, your body, your mind will be very, feeling very happy. So if you are feeling happy, your immunity will be boosted automatically. If your mind is relaxed and happy, then it will be very good. Whole body and mind will be very good. So, 
in the last after every yoga session you have to do the savasana savasana you can do for 4 or 5 minutes relax your whole body for this you have to lie down on your back keep the feet distance same like your shoulders and slowly lie down on the back palms like position beside your thighs Close your whole body part, relax. Close your eyes and imagine your body parts from your feet toes. Just keep close eyes, listen only and start relaxing. Imagine your feet toes first, then relax your feet toes. Then imagine your both feet, ankles, heels, and let them relax. Then imagine your shins, calves, knees, thighs, and feel them relax. Feel that your both legs are relaxed. Then imagine your hips, hip joint, and pelvic are going relaxed. They are relaxed. You are feeling very comfortable in your lower body. Whole lower body from down to your pelvic is relaxed. Now feel your lower back, middle back, and upper back. Relaxing. Your whole back is relaxed. Now feel your abdomen, internal organs, liver, spleen, pancreas are relaxing, kidneys are relaxing. Relaxed. Now your chest, lungs, heart are relaxing. You are feeling them relaxed. Hands, arms, and shoulders are relaxing. You are feeling them relaxed. Now neck and throat. Imagine they are relaxed. Now whole face, including lips, ears, nose, eyes, and forehead. Relax. <clears throat> now your head and brain are going to relax. Relax. Feel that your whole body is relaxed. Now rub your hands. Place hands on eyes and face. Feel the changes in your body. Slowly remove hands, open eyes, see your hands. Bend your left knee, right arm overhead. Then twist your body right side. And sit down slowly. Slowly sit down and relax your legs with your hands. Your muscles are stretched out. You can relax them with a little bit massage with your hands. Cross your legs. Same, you can relax your back, your shoulders, your arms. And here we end. Joint palms. Namaste. Thank you everybody for joining with me. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jasri, sir, for this wonderful session. I yeah. hope uh, everyone uh, learned a lot. And I can say that only an uh, expert who has uh, that much confidence can only give this kind of presentation. This is a Thank really you. wonderful session. And I hope uh, in the 
in uh, coming days we will meet again uh, and uh, under your uh, guidance our student will uh, learn something more okay sure sir thank you Uh, sir, yes. Uh, Jasveer sir, I am audible. Jasveer sir, is my yes. player. Yes, yes, sir. Very informative and very uh, interesting session, sir. And I am honored and lucky to have the opportunity to give a word of thanks on this special day. I would like to thank. our resource person present excellencies teachers and all participants in this webinar i would like to thank you sir thank you so much definitely jo aap logo ne jo aapne itni acche humko asans aur hamari immunity boost karne ke jo tarike bataye hain definitely sure hum sab usko zarur follow karenge sir thank you so much sir once again aapne hamare liye apna time nikala the valuable thought presentation of our sir thank you so much jasveer sir thanks a lot it's my pleasure bye